Right guys, so if you give me 30 seconds, I wanna go over why you shouldn't hire an SEO agency, why instead you should start one and doing it yourself. And I'm gonna show you results for people doing it themselves. And the main reason is because um, with AI, it's gonna create so many one person, one man businesses. For example, Sam Altman, the, the guy from OpenAI, he says, could AI create one person unicorn, right? So he thinks that in the future, like, this year, next year, two years from now, because AI is so powerful and you can have yourself as a centerpiece of the business and then outsource a bunch of the work to the AI, you'll be able to create a unicorn just by one person. And if you don't know, a unicorn is a startup worth or a business worth over a billion dollars. And that's what this very smart guy thinks. And I also think the same, honestly, because if you're leveraging AI, this, this amazing technology, whether that's for SEO, for marketing, for e-com, whatever it is, right? AI has the power right now and will have more power in the future to be your partner. So you're the center of the business and you outsource marketing to AI. You outsource fulfillment to AI. You outsource support to AI. You outsource every single thing and you build your AI team, right? And that's the main reason why I think you should not be hiring an SEO agency. You should start one and leverage AI to do 99% of the work for you, literally, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of results, right? What you see here on screen, these are all results achieved by one person, okay? So this guy right here, and I've showed this in the past, Luca, right? He made a case study. He ranked the site from zero to almost 3,000 in organic traffic a month in just a few months, from zero to almost 6,000 organic keyword rankings. It was such an impressive case study, and I have a case study of exactly what it is, what he did, what the niche is, what the site is here on the channel. I'll link it down below. But the results were so impressive that SCM Rush even commented impressive results. Now, the thing here is that, yes, he could have achieved the same results, just with human work, maybe hire someone here, there, right? But he was able to achieve it so fast because he leveraged AI. And AI doesn't sleep, right? AI works for you 24 hours a day, right? And again, these are results insane. Um, there's more, right? This is from a fintech uh, company, an eight-figure business, right? They, they grew just off of, off of AI. And quick note, right? This isn't just about content production, right? SEO, search engine, search engine optimization, is a complex topic. And I, I talk about that later on. But it, is, it isn't just about creating content, right? There's a lot more that goes into it, like link building, technical SEO, but I'll, I'll cover that in just a second here. I first want to show you the results, right? These are all results achieved, right? Uh, through um, leveraging AI in the SEO, right? So you're essentially doing SEO still, right? the normal, quote unquote, normal SEO, you're just doing it faster because you're leveraging AI, right? And the people that don't leverage it are just gonna get left behind. That's just the reality, right? You gotta leverage AI, you gotta embrace this new technology, again, whether that's for SEO, customer support, like anything, right? You gotta leverage AI. And if you don't do it, as I said, you're gonna be left behind. Now, here's how I apply this to SEO. Before AI, you used to have to do the keyword research manually. And keyword research, honestly, is one of the most important things when it comes to SEO, right? Finding the right keywords, because you, because you, can, you can spend months, right? Thinking you are on a rank for XYZ keyword, but at the end of the day, maybe you might have chosen the wrong keyword. So you need to put a lot of thought into keyword research. And I have videos solely on this into how to find what I call high buying intent keywords, right? It's not that much looking at the search volume, it's looking at the intent of the keyword, right? Looking at the intent of the person searching for whatever it is and how likely are them to become a customer. So not, not just about the traffic, it's about the buying intent. And again, this takes a lot of time as a human, solely doing it as a human. But, or you can leverage AI to do it for you or help you do it for you, right? Again, instead of taking five plus hours, you take maybe one, 30 minutes, right? It is so much simpler, okay? I mean, whether you use ChatGPT, whether you use Journalist AI, whether you use any AI, don't need, you don't even need to use this. You just use AI. Again, otherwise people like me, people like other competitors that are leveraging AI will just slap you lap you over and over again because they're doing the same thing you're doing just way faster. Um, then content creation, right? Uh, blog posts, content for your site, right? You used to have to do the research then, write the blog post, write the whole blog post, right? Then source the images, right? Because you want a visual blog post, then source the videos, then add links for external sources to back up your arguments, whatever, maybe linking to your products, then internal links to other blog posts of your, links to your contacts pages, links to maybe other another blog post, link to your Shopify product. So, it would take, take a lot of time to craft a proper article. Maybe three hours for a proper, proper article, right? With AI, it does all this automatically for you, right? Adds the images, videos, links, all this for you. Again, it all, it also, there always needs to be a human input, for now at least, to revise, proofread, make some edits to the article. But again, if someone is using AI to produce an article like this, and I can even show you an example right here, and I've showed it in the past, but if someone is using AI to produce an article like this with one click, right? they can focus most of their time into optimizing that article while you are 
spending all this time writing the article, article yourself, sourcing the images, doing everything manually. Let me just show you here an example. For example, benefits of red light uh, therapy before the skin. Again, this is an article on the seven benefits of red light skin to the ther uh, therapy before the skin. Sorry. Again, featured image, table of contents, proper content structure with uh, key takeaways, in article images, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links, external links, more images. Again, videos that are relevant to what the content is about. And yes, you as a human, you can do this. Most certainly you can. And if we were two people on a race, this is the end of the race, right? And we were, bo we were both starting here, right? I would just slap you first because I would have the article, article created, all of this is here right off the bat, and then just have to optimize it. You would have to create the article, right? And then optimize it. You'd take so much more time, right? Well, again, I just have AI yeah, create the base right here, and then I can click here to make some edits. Again, you don't need to use Journalist AI don't need to use it. There's a bunch of softwares out there. You can even use ChatGPT, but I, I want to prove my point here because then I have all this. I could just go here and build out some words, maybe add some more things. Maybe, for example, add a link right here, right? Uh, add a, a, a new header if I'd like. Again, I can do so much more, so much faster in terms of content, right? Then content publishing and syndicating because after the content is published, right? You need to, after the content is, is written, sorry, after this is written, you need to publish it, right? And again, there's no point in doing it manually. Why should you be clicking a button to publish the content? You shouldn't, right? You should just have AI automatically, automatically sorry, publish it for you, which is what this tool does. Again, there's a bunch of tools that do it, I think, but just use any AI that does this. You don't want to be spending time clicking a button. Then syndicating into social media. Now more than ever, it is important that you syndicate your written blog content to social media right, uh, in, with dedicated posts. So you write a big blog article, right, you wanna craft posts for your LinkedIn page, for your Facebook page, for your Twitter page. Dedicated posts where you have an image in all of them, oh, that's an image right here, and you have a snippet of what the blog post is about, and then in the comments you add a link to the full blog post. You don't wanna add links to the, blog, to the posts itself because that will decrease your reach. But again, dedicated blog posts, uh, social posts to every social platform. And that's how you're able to drive even more traffic to your blog post, to your site. Okay, that's, that's a must. And I'm not just saying this, it is a must, right? Because more and more content discovery is being made off of social platforms. So you need to diversify, okay? That's just how it is. And I think I have videos on this, right? How you, can, can example, for example, can convert a blog post into an engaging Twitter thread, right? Or a LinkedIn post, and then funnel that traffic to the actual blog post if people want to read through it all, right? Then, uh, indexing. I mean, you can just wait for Google to index it, or you can just open Google Search Console, paste in the URL, click Request Indexing, click again for accepting for every single blog post of yours, or you can just use it to like CI that automatically, as soon as an article is posted to your site, it will automatically submit it to Google Search Console for indexing, like automatically. We do all this for you with the API. As soon as a blog post is hit to your site, we will send it to Google for it to be indexed. I mean, again, no use of you having to do this manually. Just have the AI do it for you, right? Automatically. You save a ton of time, okay? Then, something else that SEO agencies and SEO professionals have to do is update existing old content. It's a big, big, big one. Because oftentimes I think people think that you just upload content, write blog posts, articles, whatever, and they just stay there. No, th those days are gone, right? You gotta keep on refreshing and updating content. Because if you're putting so much effort into crafting, crafting sorry, this amazing piece of content, you don't want to just post and leave it be, right? You want to be constantly updating it, adding new links, adding new sources, adding new images, replacing stuff, replacing data, refreshing it up, because that's how you make the post relevant. And again, if you put so much effort into it, you don't want to make it go to waste. And again, AI like these do it for you. So it's a content update feature right here. Does it automatically for you if you want to give it a go, give it a go. Um, I mean, you can also, I guess, put it in ChatGPT and, and do it too. I mean, just just use AI, <laughs> that's my point, just use AI. Because if you're doing all this manually, you're just gonna get left behind again. Then we have off-page SEO, which is basically backlink building. And if you don't know how to do this, just watch this uh, video right here. I go over this exactly step by step. It's a 50 minute video almost going over exactly how to build links. So step by step how to do it, straight straightforward. I'll uh, leave it down below in the description. Then we have technical SEO as well, which is the meta tags, alt tags, site speed, schema markup, super important. Uh, watch this video right here for that. And on-page SEO, also watch this video right here for that, right? Because these are, as of now, the three things that you cannot really Automate with AI, still we're working on that for, for this, for journalist AI, uh, but I won't dive deep into that right now. Again, all this, this is not factoring in that you need to know what you're doing, how to do it, and why you're doing it in a certain way, right? You need to have some knowledge about 
your industry, the content you're producing. So this is like an iceberg, right? The iceberg meme. All that I just went over here is the top of the iceberg. There's a bunch of things hidden down below, which is what makes the difference of you being able to be an amazing SEO and a subpar SEO. And I honestly think that if you watch these videos right here, and if you actively try to use AI into your workflow as an SEO, you will get better. Because the feedback loop when you use AI is so much faster because you can, because AI allows you to do stuff so much faster, it also allows you to fail so much faster. And failing is good because you learn and then you iterate based on the failure, right? Super important. So again, if I can leave you with just one note from this video is leverage AI for whatever it is that you're trying to do in your SEO um, journey. And don't hire an agency. I mean, if you do hire an agency, make sure they're using AI in their workflows and that they're not charging you for uh, hours that are not human to some extent, because again, AI can, can work for forever. And if you've watched this far, I mean, if you want to give AI a go, uh, just go to tryjournalist.com, open here the support bubble and, and ask the guys for a support, uh, for a coupon code. Tell them, listen, I came from this video, just copy the, paste the URL here. I want a coupon code. And the guys will hook you up with a coupon code. That's my, um, my gift, I guess, to you for watching this far. Uh, but I guess, again, don't start an SEO agency. Don't hire sorry, an SEO agency. Start one yourself, because the days that the days of one person or one man business are here and AI will be your best, um, your best employee, I guess. Again, they work forever and you can have multiple AIs doing multiple things. For example, AI for your research, AI for content creation, AI for publishing, syndication, indexing, updating old content. So multiple AIs do multiple stuff, automatic link building. So there's a bunch of stuff. Again, no need to use our tool. Use ChatGPT, use something else, but do use SEO, do, do use AI because if you don't, Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but you're going to get left behind. That's just reality, and I do not want you to get left behind. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.